hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a cash envelope or sinking fund unstuffing and basically replenish my checking account of all the money that i've used for the month of march um so if you guys want to see that then please keep on watching so for my personal, I didn't really spend a lot of money. The majority of money was spent on my business and I broke it up with, between the, these two PDFs and we're gonna start off with my personal. So for my personal, the pink binder is my personal. I will be pulling from three envelopes and those three will be that snowball monthly subs and spending money so monthly subs that snowball and spending money let me find the spending money and spending money so i just stuffed these um and i'm gonna de-stuff them now so the first one we will be de-stuffing is that snowball so that is this one right here and I will be de-stuffing these two payments that I made to my credit card. So 46 plus 46 is 92 dollars. So let's try to get close to 92 as possible. So instead of pulling $92, I'll be just taking $100 from my debt snowball envelope and basically just have that taken out um, for my next payment. Just keep a record of that. So even though my payment was $92, I'll still be giving myself a little bit of wiggle room to make additional payments to my credit card although it's only i think eight dollars money is money guys so i'm just gonna highlight that i'm gonna highlight this and highlight this wait let me just redo that so i know i paid it back to myself So I'm just going to put that money right here for right now and I'm just going to put this envelope back over there. And for monthly subs, let's do that next. So I have 3.26 plus 6.99 plus 6.99 plus 4.99. And that equals to $22.23. So honestly, I'm going to just pull $20 from my monthly subs envelope because, because I pulled more from my debt snowball envelope. So I'm just going to take a $20 bill from that. Actually, no. I'm going to take from these fives. So one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna keep it twenty dollars so it's not overflowing in this envelope okay. okay and I'm gonna just highlight that as well with a different color actually let me just highlight that Last but not least is spending money. Let me add everything up. Okay, so when I added the spending money up, $57.76 is what I owe my bank account. And in this envelope, I have, I think, $90 now. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to take $60. And we are left with 30. 
which is okay guys we'll build this back up So in all, we took 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180 from our sinking funds. So I'm just going to put these envelopes back into their binder. And it doesn't look like I touched it at all. But that is for our personal and now let's get on to the business. So basically I'm just going to put this money to the side because I will be exchanging um, money for bigger bills when I'm done. So let's do monthly subs first. So I have $5.66. Five dollars, seven dollars and ninety nine cents, thirty two dollars and sixty seven cents, and then four dollars, and that equates to fifty five dollars and thirty two cents. So let's see. One, two. Let's see if we can. Twenty. 30, 40, 50, okay, no, I'm not gonna, I can't do that. So I'm just going to take out $55 from my monthly subs. So 20, 40, 50, 55. And I'm gonna put 15 inside my monthly subs envelope. Gonna highlight it. Okay, next I'm gonna pull from my inventory envelope. So right now I need four dollars and twenty nine cents. $7.99, $20.76, any more? No. Okay, so I need $328 from my inventory envelope. So, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. One. Let me make sure that this is right. I'm pulling 330 from my inventory envelope. So 100, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 300, 320, 330. I pulled it back from there. So we're left with 20, 30, 35 inside our inventory envelope. Okay, so let me just highlight that. Okay, next I'm going to pull from my professional picks envelope. So I will be needing 30 plus $11.75 plus 30 plus 15. I would be needing $86.75. I think I have $85 in here. Let me see. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. I do. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so. Okay. 
Okay, so now my professional picks envelope is empty. Next, I will be pulling from my new business envelope and I will be needing 35 from that. So, okay, let me see what I can do here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, right on the dot. And we only have $20 in our new business envelope. Okay, and last but not least, we will be pulling from the graphic, I mean, the website builder, where is it? The website builder envelope. So I will be pulling $20 from here. Currently it has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 in here. So I will be pulling all of them in fives. So we got our 20. And that's it. So let me count all of this up. And oh my god, guys, look at all of this cash. Can you guys see it? Okay, let me just count all of this up. And I'm gonna exchange some bills before we get to see the actual difference of of my sinking funds. So I'm just gonna put the fives to the side and just leave the hundreds and twenties close to me and I'm gonna go through every envelope and try to condense it. So I'm gonna start with my personal envelope. So monthly subs right now, how much does it have? Okay, I can switch out these fives for a 20. Can I? Can I? Can I? I can most definitely. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. For two 20s. Actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll take 100 in my taxes envelope. that debt snowball can I condense anything one two three four five I'll just add this extra hundred to my debt snowball okay investing we don't put anything in there spending money do I have any fives in here yeah, but I only have two fives. Okay, beauty. Oh, I'm sorry you guys can't see anything. Okay, let's see. Beauty. Okay, I have... I have four fives in beauty. I can use an extra 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's one twenty in here still. Clothing, what about that? Did I stuff any fives in here? I did. I'm just doing this because I know my sinking funds will get bigger and I don't want an overflow of cash in here. For gifts slash Christmas. Put another 20. For dream car, can I? I think so. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I can put two twenties in here. 70, 90, 110, 130, 150. Okay. I'm sorry that I'm mumbling, guys. It's just that I'm really good with numbers. And this is honestly like a numbers game for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two of these. Dream house, most definitely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's forty dollars, so I'm gonna take two tens, I mean two twenties. This is 20. I'm just gonna add another 20. Just put away those fives. Okay, and emergency fund. Put away these fives and add another 20. Okay, and now this definitely feels lighter and it's less thick. Just because it's less thick doesn't mean there's not the same amount of money in there. So let's see, in monthly subs, how much do we have in here? Okay, we have $15. We can't swap anything out. And inventory. Can we swap anything out? No, we can't. Ads, can we swap anything out? We can most definitely swap some stuff out. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can only swap out four fives for one of our $20 bills. Trademark, what about you? Yeah, we can most definitely do that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Only four of them we can swap out for one of the $20 bills. For the pop-up shop, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, four of the fives for one twenty-dollar bill. Website builder. We have a four of fives. Put that there, and a twenty-dollar bill. Professional picks, we don't have anything anymore, and new business only has a $20 bill inside of it, and that's it from our business binder. And y'all, this is everything that's going back to the bank. Like, look at this fat stack. I want to count it. All right, so guys, I've never held this many vibes in my hand before. All right, so. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred. That's three hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. Six hundred. Seven hundred. Eight hundred. Nine hundred. Ten hundred. Eleven hundred. Twelve hundred. Thirteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. Seventeen hundred. Eighteen hundred. 
30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. That's 400. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. That's 500. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. That's 600. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. That's 700 and 705 dollars. Guys, this is 705 dollars in my hand right now. And this is going back into my bank account so I can just replenish it because of all the things that I bought in march this is a fat stack and i can't believe i spent so much money because honestly i don't know like I, I i had the buffer money but like these are also things that i needed like these are things that i needed for my business and these are things that i needed well my subscriptions and these are like little expenses that i had for the month of march and i'm so happy that i saved up this money and I will continue to save up money. So I'm just going to put that to the side. This video is not done yet. Because I want to see how much my sinking funds grew in the month of March. Okay, let's start with my personal binder. I'm just going to take everything out so it can be nice and free. And I'm just going to basically see how much it changed in the month of March. So in monthly subs, I have $40 now. And that's a plus $10 gain. For taxes, I have $100 and I kept it at $100. That is a plus $60 gain. For that snowball, I started off with $20, but now I have way more than that. $100, $200, dollars $310. That's a $200, I think, and $90 gain. Let me just double check that. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, that's a $290 gain. Investing, I started off with $30, but now I think I have $300 in. Wait, let me see. I'll tell you guys exactly how much I have in investing. Investing right now, I have $315. So $315. And that is a $285 gain. Spending money, I now have $30, so that's a $10, that's a $10 loss. In beauty, I started off the month with $45 and now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. I have $120. That's a $75 gain. In clothing, I started off the month with nothing. 
and now I have $60. That's a $60 gain. And please excuse my handwriting right now. Gifts slash Christmas. I had nothing, and I think I have a $60 gain in here as well. Actually, I have a $40 gain in here. In Dream Car, I started off with $15. And now I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150. I have $150 inside my envelope. And that is, I think, $135 gain. Yep. In education, I started off with $15 as well, and I think I have $80 in here now. Yes, I have $80. And that is a $65 gain. In Dream House, I started off with $15, and I think I'm ending with $150. Yes, $50, $100, and again, that's a $135 gain. giving I start off with nothing and now I have 20 no and now I have forty dollars in the emergency fund I started off with ten dollars and now I have sixty dollars a plus $50 gain so that is for my personal binder okay and now let's get started with the business side of our binder let's see how much we spent and how much you know because I feel like this one would be in the negatives so for monthly sub, so we started off with 40 and we are ending, I think, with 15. Yes, we're ending with 15. So that's a negative $25 loss. In inventory, we started off with $50, and we are going to end off with $35. So that's a minus $15 loss. the ads we start off with $20 and now we have 20 40 60 80 90 that's a $70 gain For trademark, we start off with 
$35 and we ended off with 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130. Let me count that again. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130. So that is a plus $95 gain. For the pop-up shop, I started off with $20 and I ended with 20 40 60 80 90 So that is a $70 gain. So for website builder, I started off with $20 and I ended off with 20, 40, 60. So plus 60. I mean, no, wait, why am I putting plus? For this one, this is a plus forty dollar gain. For professional picks, I have nothing in here right now, so it's zero and a twenty dollar loss. For new business, right now I have twenty dollars in here. I got $20 and that is a $5 gain. So now that we have all that settled, I'm just going to put this to the side. I'm not going to fix it in yet. Um, I'm not going to fix it in yet. I'm just going to add all these numbers up so we can find out the month ending total after I've unstuffed it. So 40 plus 100 plus 310 plus 315 plus 30 plus 120 plus 60 plus 40 plus 50 150 plus 80 plus 150 plus 40 plus 60 plus 15 plus 35 plus 90 plus 130 plus 90 plus 60 plus 20 and we have 1935 dollars in our envelopes after we unstuffed it so let's see how much we gained and lost 10 plus 60 plus 290 plus 285 plus negative 10 plus 75 plus 60 plus 40 plus 135 plus 65 plus 135 plus 40 plus 50 plus negative 25 plus negative 15 plus 70 plus 95 plus 70 plus 40 plus negative 20 and plus 5 so that is a $1,455 change in the month of March guys that's so good because honestly if you guys are an impulse shopper and you guys are an impulse buyer to any and everything this method is so effective because you'll actually see your money right in front of you like this makes me motivated to have more to my name because i'm actually physically seeing my money by it being in the bank account i don't actually see my money and so i automatically think i have more than what i actually have making me spend a lot of money if that makes sense so i think you guys can try it should try it actually and trust me you guys will see improvements on 
the, every little bit that you guys try to save up. And the only reason I'm doing this right now is because I have goals. I'm only 21 years old and I really want, you know, to live lavishly later on. And I need to do that by starting to save up. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I can't wait to see how much more I can save up in the next couple of months. And guys, trust me when I say I will probably have $5,000 in these envelopes by the time 2021 is over that is the goal and hopefully i crush that goal so yeah guys if you guys like this video then please give it a big thumbs up i can't wait to deposit this money and see it in my bank account these fives are going crazy but i'm so happy i condensed my other envelope too because it was getting you know a little hard to close sometimes so i'm just so happy that i got the extra 20s so i can just basically take out the fives from those envelopes and this alone is all fives like can y'all believe that like all fives but yeah guys if you guys enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up um subscribe to my channel if you guys want more videos like these and also if you guys want me to create another channel for content like this then comment it down below and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video bye